Welcome to Tech Brothers with Namer. Today we are going to learn how to export SSRS report to CSV, tab or pipe delimited file. So you can stop the video here, read all the contents, but I'm going to walk you through anyways through these steps. So let's go to the report manager and here I have a report called the detail report. First of all, I would like to export this report as a CSV file. So I, I have export option here, export drop down menu. I can click here and uh, one of the option is called CSV, command limited. So I can click here and uh, it will ask me where you wanna save it. I'm gonna save in the videos folder. So detail report.csv, fine. And then uh, once it is uh, downloaded, I can open it. And as you can see that it is uh, open in Excel by default. Uh, and uh, if I would like to go ahead and open a notepad, I can do that as well. As it is CSV file, you can open with Excel and see the records very well. Here, I'm going to go to the uh, folder and then right click on the uh, file and then open with the notepad. So I can see that uh, this file is comma delimited file. The next option is that we need to export this file uh, report as the tab delimited or pipe delimited. That's gonna be a little tricky. So first of all, we need to understand a few things. So let me take you one of the Microsoft website where we have a CSV device information settings. So this is the setting that we can use in our report server configuration file and change the format accordingly. So first of all, let's say if we would like to have a field delimiter is equal to um, this one is uh, called the uh, tab so percent zero nine uh, that will be used for the tab delimiter so you can use other one as well and here if you would like to have header or you don't like to have header so there are different settings uh, you can take a look so what I'm gonna do here I will put this uh, link in the description and you can read uh, all those things but it tells us uh, okay if you need to make any changes uh, to the extension or on the format that you would like to uh, render uh, export your report you can go ahead and make the changes in the report server configuration file and then it will uh, give you those changes so first of all it is already given us a csv format we would like to add another one called pipe or tab delimited so let's go ahead and first add the tab one and then we will go we will go ahead and add the pipe now where we will find that report server configuration file. So first uh, you will be going to the this PC on your machine you will be going to C drive and then uh, you will be finding uh, program files and then SQL server so we find the Microsoft SQL server and then we will look for MS RS so in my case I have a SQL 2014 is the instance name and uh, that's uh, what my report server um, in instant instance name is as well so you will see it uh, that's that's the folder you need to go in your case it could be any named instant maybe you have SQL 0 or 001 or 002 or whatever so you will find something uh, MS RS 12 and then uh, next part will be the instance name so we'll click on that one you will see reporting services and then here you will see report server once you are in the report server folder, there is a RS report server configuration. So that's where we need to make changes. First, let's make a copy of this one. So if we mess up with this file, we do not have to do reinstallation. So I'm going to copy, paste. So we have saved this file. Next, we can open this .config file and make changes. The part we will be making changes is under render so go ahead and find that part so we are going to find render let me see where we can find right here so this is what we were looking for and here you have different extensions you can have XML you have CSV you have PDF and HTML and all that so we can write the same type of extensions and paste it right here so I have already prepared one and we can paste it there so my extension name is a tab delimited so you can call it anything what you like and then you have a okay name English US and then this is what we would like to show in the drop down and here is our tab so file delimiter is this one so it will create a tab now 
there are other information such as no header false uh, and use formatted uh, value false. Uh, you can always go back and read the description here and whatever works for you, you can uh, use that one. So I'm going to use uh, with my options. Uh, I don't want, uh, uh, I want to have uh, the header. So that's why I have false. Uh, and uh, if you don't want to have header, you can uh, set it to true. And the extension is CSV is fine for me, but uh, I would like to have uh, the tab uh, delimited file. Uh, and uh, you can copy this now. I'm going to put this one in the description as well. So once you open it, you can just copy and paste. Now let's go to the report, RS report uh, server configuration. And you can paste anywhere here. I I'm going to go ahead and paste right after the CSV. And uh, that way I would know that, okay, all those CSV formats are right here. So first of all, this extension, then we have this line. After the second line, I'm going to paste this one here. So now you have, I'm given some space, so at least I can see this is the change. These are the changes I made them. So we are all good. Control S, save it and close it. Now let's go ahead and open the report manager. Let's refresh. So you can go to the maybe home. It's going to take some time and come back. In case it would not, if it would not take changes, then we will do one thing. We will restart, stop and restart the service. So by how we would do that? SQL Server configuration. Um, sorry, SQL Server 2014 reporting services configuration manager. So if we click there, and then it will open that for us. And from here, we can connect and we can stop the service and we can restart in case that change would not work. So that's fine. Let's take a look on this one. So go to the report now. And here is a detailed report. And I'm going to export uh, to the tab delimited. I hope uh, it will show us that drop down. So if we click on the export uh, and here is a tab delimited. So that's great. So it worked. We did not even uh, need to restart the service. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, export this file. Sorry, report to the tab delimited file. So click here. And now we can go ahead and save it and uh, you can call it underscore tab and I left the extension CSV that's fine you can change the extension if you like uh, in the configuration so I'm fine with that save it and now let's go to the folder and if I go to the videos folder so here are videos and I have detailed report underscore tab dot CSV if I right click here and open with notepad so I can see that it is a tab delimited file and the format of everything is correct. Fine. Now the next part we would like to have a pipe delimited. So let's go ahead and make change in the RS report server configuration. Let's go back. And now here we will be going to the my computer C and then SQL program files, Microsoft SQL server and the MSRS and then a reporting services report server and here we have a RS report server configuration so what I'm gonna do here I'm going to copy the same code and then paste again so let's copy this one and paste this one here so paste it give some space doesn't really matter space is not gonna hurt and here we can call this one pipe delimited so I can call it pipe delimited and now this is going to be if I would like to whatever I want to show or display. So I will let's say pipe delimited and here uh, a file delimiter. I'm going to put uh, the pipe sign and uh, no header. Um, I, I no header is false. Uh, that means I want the header and uh, that's fine with me. File extension CSV. If you would like to have text TXT your choice, you can have it now save it now control S and uh, then close it. We should be fine. And uh, let's go back to the report manager. And as of now, if we see that uh, we do not see that pipe delimited here till we do not uh, refresh. So let's go ahead and refresh and see if that works. Otherwise, we'll restart the service. It's going to take some time. The same way what I have done here, if you see, you can put anything. In my case, I have used pipe or a tab in your case let's say you want to put uh, um, only this uh, these uh, comma 
so that can be as well or maybe you would like to have some other characters you can use it so the only thing you need to have an extension added to this rendering part so once you have it you can just copy and paste now close this one let's come back to the report manager and here if we go to the export now what we see here we did not see the pipe delimited anything here I'm gonna go to the home one more time and let's see refresh let's refresh and uh, come back to the report now let's see if that works and uh, now we have a uh, let me here pipe delimited so we have no pipe del delimited just make sure you you refresh sometime you maybe close the explorer and reopen it that work if not I mean just to stop your service and restart so it should uh, take the configuration from there pipe delimited so let's go ahead and uh, pay, save it now save as and here if you see that the extension is a dot txt as we have a put a dot uh, extension uh, txt in the uh, rs uh, report server configuration now let's go ahead and save it we can call anything or just save as it is save now once the report is saved we can open it and you can see that this report is a pipe delimited so that's how you will be creating the report export options in SSRS so you will be able to do pipe delimited or tab delimited or even a comma delimited I show you so that's uh, very easy, but somewhere you do not want to mess with the uh, report server configuration file. Always make the backup, have it copy in case you may mess up with that. You can just uh, uh, repaste it and um, rename it back to the RS report server configuration. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video.